Bonjourno and welcome to the beautiful Silver Moon. We were delighted to have been invited on this newly launched ship by Silver Sea after what seemed like a lifetime of lockdown teasers, trailers and progress reports. It was almost surreal to see her in the flesh and I'm sure like many of us, we wondered if we ever would. So to kick things off, we have a huge vault of video clips to arrange into some sort of visual order to show you. So if you haven't done so already, press that subscribe button and notification bell and you'll be informed when a new ship video drops. As for right now, we're going to kick things off with a quick but gorgeous review of our suite. We stayed in suite number 1101 on deck 11, the very top deck right at the front. This was one of 34 silver suites on board, which is the next category up from the deluxe veranda suite, of which there are 104 and the most popular category. This ship only carries 596 passengers maximum, and there's 411 crew attending to your every need. The suite measures 786 square feet, or 73 meters squared, including the veranda, which as you can see by this overlay is twice the size of the deluxe veranda. So it's big, but what's it like inside? Well, come in. There's a long corridor and there's a door to the toilet conveniently off it, so you don't have to walk all the way around the suite if you've just nipped back for a call of nature. The toilet is in a small hexagonal shaped room with its own sink and a door leading out into the bathroom. Back down the corridor, we reveal the main living area. This area is huge and uncluttered. There's a dining table that comfortably seats four and atop that is a rather flamboyantly designed fruit bowl. Personally, we're never hungry enough to tuck into the fruit, late night snacking notwithstanding, so we feel it's a bit of a waste. Perhaps there should be an option not to have fruit? Maybe fill the fruit bowl with chocolates instead? Hmm, <laughs> there's a thought. The little marble tabletop in between the patio doors presents you with the coffee machine and some utterly delicious snacks by Esprit Gourmand black truffle cashews, thyme and chilli almonds, and Vera Cruz, a kind of posh Bombay mix, as we call it in the pubs of Britain. The mini fridge has soft drinks, bottled beer and water pre-installed, and I'm sure you can request your butler to change these to your preference. The water comes still and sparkling, and we love these glass bottles. Over at the seating area, there's a very wide sofa and two chairs and a smaller occasional table, that surprised us with a bottle of bubbly and a small box of chocolates by Pierre Marcolini, the luxury Belgian chocolatier that has sustainability, human rights and the environment slap bang in the centre of his philosophy. Believe me, ethical chocolates taste way better. A rather cheekily placed Lalique magazine was laying in view, which contained a brilliant article all about the famous glass maker and Silver Sea's pieces of Lalique in the La Dame restaurant. Watch our dining guide to see it in detail, but in the meantime, here's a sneak peek. On the other wall is a desk with various bits and bobs, including a Bluetooth Bose speaker and your hotline to your butler. Believe me, ours, Mark, always answered our call super quick. He was incredible. Moving on to the sliding double doors into the bedroom. When closed, they actually look very neat, but we chose to keep them open all the time. The bedroom is a cosy place to dwell, especially if you have the doors closed. I don't need to tell you how comfy the beds, soft the pillows, and sumptuous the bed linens are. Come on, this is Silver Sea. What do you expect? There were plenty of plug sockets, and on the bed were these luxurious black Bulgari pouches full of all the little necessities you'll need in these times of extra sanitation. I'm actually going to climb into bed now to show you the other side of the bedroom. <laughs> it's the easiest way. There's a TV right ahead and a mirrored vanity unit to the left, again generously socketed. We love this view out into the living room too. Oh, it makes me want to go back so badly. The TV system is identical to the one in the living area and the Silver Sea system is just about the best we've seen and used. It's simple to navigate, has all the features you need and gives you exhaustive info on your destinations, 
booked restaurants, messages received, and of course, navigational info. There's a lot of films on here too, if you fancy a night in with a loved one and a bottle of something sparkly. To the right of the TV is the dressing area with more than enough shelves, rails, and drawers. I always have to mention the safe, and this one passes the size test with flying colours, big enough to swallow laptops and iPads. And remember the hexagonal toilet? Here's the other door. To the right of that is the thing that made Helen let out a little screech of joy. A jacuzzi bath, and a huge one at that. Once we'd worked out the controls, we found it to be very powerful. Those bubbles are literally from a teaspoon of shower gel. <laughs> the other bubbles you can see were from a bottle nestled in our ice bucket. Opposite the bath are two sinks and an array of mirrors so large I couldn't keep myself out of the picture, so I gave up in the end. Hello, this is me doing what I call the photographer's lunge. My favourite part of the bathroom now, the shower. So huge and delightful was this shower, I couldn't resist having at least two a day. The marble enclosure was so enormous, you could actually walk all the way round the shower when it was on and not get wet. I need one of these in our house. But then Helen would say the same about the jacuzzi. I nearly forgot, we haven't mentioned the balcony. Complete with two lounges and side tables and a table and two chairs. And when not in the bathroom, we were here, eating, drinking, snoozing, and generally counting our blessings for this incredible experience. I can't praise this silver suite highly enough. Well, okay, in the interest of balance, and so you don't think that we're being too gushy, let's talk about a few negatives. Negatives? In a silver suite? Well, we're really scraping the bedrock under the earth where the barrel used to be. But we've tried to come up with a few, so nobody moans at us. Right, here's what we managed to find after a good ten days racking our brains and picking holes. The coffee machine is very useful, and the Illy coffee, Italian naturally, is very nice indeed. But the cups are so small, it's like drinking from a child's tea set. Apologies to coffee purists who love a short, strong espresso, but in my mind, it's over far too quickly. I had to have at least three of these before I could open my eyes in the morning. The jacuzzi bath is incredible and we absolutely adored it, but it takes so long to fill. By the time it's deep enough, we had finished our champagne we were going to sip while in it. <laughs> yes, it's big enough for two. We only found out on our last day that this little notepad is a wireless phone charger. We didn't even have to plug our phones in. Oh, why does life do this to me? Bring out the tiny violins. Only I had USB sockets on my bedside table. Helen had only proper sockets. I object to having Helen's phone on my side as it confuses me in the morning. No night lighting in the bathroom. The lights are either full on or full off. Not good when you're half asleep, fumbling around in the dark, and then you get slapped in the eyes by a sheet of dazzling light. My retinas! Despite all the goodies that come with a silver suite, there's no binoculars which surprised us because we thought that pretty much every suite of this size and price had a pair. Good job I had a zoom lens for dolphin watching, or oh, there would have been trouble. But I didn't see any dolphins anyway. Finally, and this one's probably the most sensible one, there's no power sockets near the dining table, meaning it's difficult to charge your laptop while you work up the table. But then again, you're on vacation. What on earth are you doing working? Look, of course, we're kidding here. There really is no glaring drawbacks or negatives to a silver suite we could find. I apologise to those who wanted a balanced review, but you're going to have to complain. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe as we've got more ridiculously fabulous Silver Moon content to bring you. But until then, Arrivederci, bella amici. I think I said that right. Forgive me, Italian friends, if I haven't. But at least I tried. <laughs>